What's going on, Ground Roots Outdoors? That's right, it's Aaron Morstead, and it's been a while. Yep, well, ladies and gentlemen, a lot of garbage hitting the house and fighting illness and fighting each other, and yeah, so it's been crazy, been chaotic. I apologize for the absence, uh, but I have been putting some videos together. Um, Here's a little short video for you, and then I'll come back and we'll talk. So, stay tuned. Hope you get something out of it. Yes, we are back. Um, this is a video that I have actually been fighting with that I'm not sure I wanted to do. However, we're going to do it. Um, I told you guys that when we hit 600 subscribers, or more we were going to do a giveaway or a um a challenge and there was a couple of people out there hang on just a second maybe there you go that's better anyway we were going to do a challenge or a giveaway and i had a couple of people who actually were bird dogging me and as soon as i hit that 600 mark they're holding me to my to my word and uh, they challenged me these people knew that i used the victory extortions and that these are 400 or 548 grains and i shot them through a chronograph they literally travel at 225 feet per second however they fly quiet and they knew that the extortions, that Victory was no longer going to make the extortions. And so as soon as I hit that 600 mark, they challenged me. And the challenge was to go with a lighter arrow. And that's right. That is the RIP TKO. It is the same arrow as the extortion, except for about 120 to 125 grains lighter, which at 422 to 425 grains, it travels at 255 grains. I put them through the chronograph. That's nice and all. However, we'll find out about quiet. And because you guys know, I'm all about the quiet. Okay. And so uh, I'm having problems with it. And because setup on these things has been a nightmare, tuning them to my bow. My bow, it likes a heavier setup. It really does. It likes a heavier arrow. And so that's why it took me no time at all to get the extortions sighted in and tuned up, you know, because I bear shaft tune everything. I, I have fletch tune everything. Um, and then broadhead tune it and all that good stuff. I go through the painstaking job of making sure i'm shooting a good arrow okay and uh the victory rip tkos have been around a while they're good arrows i'm not knocking them i'm not knocking anybody who shoots a lighter arrow setup but for me tunability these things have been nothing but a nightmare i'll be honest with you they've been nothing but a nightmare they are tuned up now now this one here, I left the fletchings on, okay? And it has a 125 grain head on it because I'm kind of experimenting uh, with a heavier head. Um, so this one is one. Uh, for me, it like I said, it's been nothing, you know, nothing but a headache, but they are tuned up now. They're driving tacks. I can, I've got a couple pictures to show you. Check it out. And then I did a TikTok, or not a TikTok, I hate TikTok, but I did a short, a YouTube short, where I was pulling the TKO out, and you saw it, it's dialed up, and it was shooting a, a um, Annihilator broadhead. Okay, so they're tuned. Now, but it took me literally two and a half to three weeks to get them tuned, where the extortion, with my setup, the extortion, it literally took me a day to get them all you know because they were just that easy because my bow like i said my bow loves them okay so bear with me this is going to be a long drawn out thing 
I have six extortions and do not think I will not throw one at, at something, at a deer. Um, but I am going to, because I am a man of my word, I will be shooting the rip TKOs. But all the, you know, I've been doing the broadhead tests. They've all been dialed up. So all of them are going to be shooting those new broadheads that I've got. And along with a Ramcat Hydroshock, because that's my broadhead of, go, a broadhead of choice. Also, I've got the, uh, the uh, um, Magnus Stingers, and that's my other broadhead of choice. But I will be shooting the SS3, I will be shooting the Annihilator, and I will be shooting the Exodus, and I will also be shooting the Ramcat um, Diamondbacks. So, stay tuned. Guys, this has been a kind of a nightmare. Um, I'm actually confident in these arrows now. I am because I finally got them all accurate and they're all shooting good. So we shall see. They do seem to be flying pretty quiet. I mean, because they are the same, pretty much the same arrow, just a lot lighter. Um, especially when you put the right veins on it, it they they do fly quiet. So we'll see. Yep, <clears throat> that's right. Lighter arrows and. Uh, this is it's gonna be rough I mean but as far as like confidence in them and stuff I'm I'm confident that they're shooting good that they're going you know but it just concerned I, I'm concerned about the fact that being lighter arrows are they gonna have the momentum I need um, of course with you know with whitetails you're gaining some speed so you're gonna kind of outrun you're gonna kind of be a little quicker uh, if they're quiet that's even more of a benefit but the one thing that i loved about the extortion was every deer i shot with those things the deer reacted like they were just confused like what happened and that was it you know and so the tracking of them i didn't have to tr do a massive blood trail i didn't have because they were right there i mean so and when so that's that confidence right there now that's hard to hard to let go of um but like i said i still have six extortions and i am not afraid to use them but because like i said i'm a man of my word i will shoot these these victory rip tkos and uh they're flying good and they fly good with the broadheads and i'll start showing you guys some some little shorts and stuff of that so if you like what you see hit your thumbs up if you like what you see and you're not a subscriber hit the subscribe button and a little bell for notification that way you get all our videos appreciate you guys we're up to 635 subscribers you guys are awesome so love you guys